Welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a torus shaped object for steady state thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on steady state thermal module. We go to geometry, right click. New Design Modular Geometry Units Millimeter XY Plane Look at Next I'll go to Sketching I'll first draw a straight line Then I'll go to circle and draw two circles I am making a hollow object so I am drawing two circles next I will go to dimension and give diameter to both of them also, I'll give the distance between this line and this outer diameter. See, this is 21 mm. The inner diameter is say 10 mm. And this distance is 5 mm. Next, I'll go to modeling. I'll use revolve option. I'll select the two circles as a geometry this line is the axis and angle I'll leave it to 360 degree and generate if you make this to 180 degree this becomes half the torus of it so that's how you can change. If you want, you can also make this to say 270 degree. This is how it will look like. I'll leave it to 180 degree itself. So this geometry is done. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. I'll now go to steady state thermal and insert temperature. Say the inner temperature is 200 degrees Celsius. On this surface, say I insert convection coefficient of 55 watt per mm square degree celsius and on these two faces say I insert radiation and this temperature I make it to 45 degree celsius so you can assume that this is a sort of torus pipe wherein you have a fluid flowing so the fluid internally has a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius and on these surfaces we are giving some convection and radiation factors. Next I'll go to solution and insert thermal temperature. I will insert total heat flux and also the directional heat flux of the body. Next we'll solve. You can see here, this is the temperature profile of the body. You can just animate and check the result as to how the heat will flow over the entire surface. This is the total heat flux of the body.
and this is the directional heat flux this is about x axis if you want you can see the directional heat flux about the y axis as well that is in the downward direction so we can change this to phi and solve once again so this is the directional heat flux about the y axis so that's how you can analyze a torus shaped body for steady state thermal analysis say some fluid is flowing through it i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you